Hello friends, welcome to bisptrainings.com. My name is Sumit and this is my another video series in Salesforce. And in this video, I will be going to tell you how to build custom objects using force.com IDE. So first of all, let's understand what is force.com ID and what's the use of force.com ID. Then we'll look at an example that how can we use force.com IDE to build a custom object in our Salesforce application. So force.com IDE is a client application. It's a powerful client application which can be used for creating, modifying and deploying force.com application. So by using force.com IDE, we can create an application, we can modify the existing application and we can deploy the application from one, uh, we can deploy the one application from one environment to another environment. It is based on the Eclipse platform. So to work on force.com ID, we need to set up Eclipse on our system and build on tooling APIs. The force.com API ID provides a comfortable environment for programmers familiar with integrated de development environment. And by using this, the programmers, they can write codes. They can write big codes for compiling, testing, packaging and deploying all forms within the ID. So force and force.com ID is open source. So it is freely available. You can download it and install or configure within your Eclipse environment and then we can use it. So let's take an example that how we are going to use this force.com ID to build a custom object in our existing environment. So for this, first of all, that's my Salesforce environment and where I have got a talent management application. I have already configured this talent management application. I have already developed this talent management application and by using this force.com ID uh, platform, I would like to add a new custom object within this say uh, within this application under this application. So for doing this, I have already configured my I have already downloaded and installed Eclipse. And once you download and install Eclipse, just open the Eclipse, load your Eclipse, click on OK, the workspace. So first you need to do is you need to click on help and make sure that force.com is ID is installed. If it is not enabled, if it is not installed, you can click on install new software and here you can type force.com id force.com id and it will automatically download it will automatically search for the force.com id url and from that url it shows force.com id and id debugger and in this force.com id as you can see here it shows that all items are installed successfully because i have already configured force.com id on my system within this Eclipse. If you want to configure it, you sim simply check this and click on next. But because it is already configured, so it will not allow me to go next. But let's suppose if I say force.com ID debugger, I would be able to move on to next step. So in my case, I have already configured this. And once force.com ID is installed and configured, the next step is to, we need to create a new project. So as soon as I click on file, new I would be able to see that a new force I would be able to create force.com project or and new letterhead workflows apex figures and so on so here I select I'm going to create a new force.com project and I'll give a new name here BASP SFTC project we need to provide username, so I give my username .bisp at the rate bisp.com. Password, so I provide password. Security token is required, so I need to reset my security token for my. So to reset security token, I click on my name in my environment, my settings. Personal, reset my security token. 
click on reset security token and the security token has been sent on my mail id so i'll just get the security token from there so i received the security token that's my token security token so i copy this security token and paste over there so i copy this from here and paste here so that's the security token and once i done with that i click on next so it will be connecting by using the credentials and it will fetch the organization details it may take time to fetch the details because it will connect it will take some time to connect with the environment and once it is connected it will load the next screen so the connection established successful you can see a new sc next screen has been loaded it says choose initial project components so in initial components would you like to add only the apex and visual force classes which are not available here or you would like to select metadata components by yourself so i want to select metadata components from myself and i click on choose so it will fetch the component metadata and then i can select the components as required so it will load the packages and it says the are not supported so i click on okay and as you can see here the applications are loaded app launcher sales application talent management application if you want to load it i can add it i can select because i'm interested only with talent management if you want to load all the complete one you can simply select the the you can simply select all applications here then we have app menus so these are app menus then assignment rules any assignment rules have been defined so you can look at the approval process we have defined the job application approval process we have defined so we can add it and configure from here similar we have classes so these are the classes which i have configured in this application in my current application application components if any if any component has been added so i have added one component that's a logo component so so my means to say is by using this package explorer by using this post.com ide we can control the complete application we can control our com full application even we can control our workflows as well so you see we have an option for workflows and these are the workflows which we have created so the workflows can also be controlled from the sites and as controls roles the roles we have defined so we can manage the roles we can manage the profiles so everything can be managed from here itself and once i done with this so either we can click on next or we can get back i cancel it or we can go for apex and visual force classes so these are the apex and visual force classes which we have configured and click on finish so it will create a project and it will load all the apex and visual force classes into current project so once the project gets loaded you can see the project has been successfully loaded named as BISP SFDC project and now i can expand this project and under src i have a component logo component pages and static resources and triggers and so on so my requirement is i would like to create a new component new object so for that i right click on src right click new and here we have an object option custom object so i quickly click on custom object and under this project label so i'll write bisp force force com object and name plural label and click on finish so it will create a new object name as force com object and that's the name if you want to customize it we can set the labels name sharing is read write and so on then I would like to run it I would like to deploy it on our application in our environment so so first of all I'll save it because it's already saved so now finally I need to make change into the application so let me show you before that that app, this has not yet updated now the object has not yet created so I click on setup then click on objects create objects 
and you can see this object is not available here right now so finally i'm going to deploy this on our solution on the website so i right click on the solution right click on bsp sfdc project and force.com and sync save to server so first of all i click on work online because right now we'll be working offline so right work online and then i'll say save to server so it will deploy the changes to server synchronizing checking again server and anything which has been updated right now this will be deployed to the server it will be get updated it will update the server so it will it will take some time because it will perform the synchronization against server so it will take some time so i'm getting a message save to server will override selected associated components on the server so yes i click on yes and finally it will be deploying the component or the objects which we have added just now or any any updations will be done on components or any new object which has been added just now it will get uploaded on the server So finally the deployment will be going to take place and once this operation will be gets completed we will get the object gets deployed or gets created on our application in the current environment so you can see the changes has been done let's go and check whether the changes has been get updated in our uh, in our application or not so for this i'll switch to crm and then i'll refresh the custom object so the application is refreshing and let's wait so finally you see we have got the new object created here named as bisp force com object obviously because it's a custom object and it has not built by using the standard way of creating an object so definitely we need to click on tabs to add this object to create a tab for this object so i click on tabs new and i'm going to create a new tab for that particular object so select that object select the style look and feel hot air balloon next and look set for the profiles and this should be available only within talent management and save it so bingo we got this bspforce.com object here and now when i click on this i would be able to create records here and you see custom object label name because we didn't modify the custom object label name and if i open this bispforce.com object we have an option here to create a custom object label name so from here you can change the label i didn't updated it but if you want you can set the label you can change the label here and once you're done with that you would be able to see the modifications here so any modifications you are doing here you need to save it and again connect you again deploy to the server so again you need to click on save to server or deploy onto the server and if i create name let's say abc and save it so i would be able to save record here and you see the id has been assigned successfully it means it's working perfectly fine so one part of the video in my next video i will be going to demonstrate you how to create fields under this object because right now in this custom object we have got only one standard field we don't have any custom fields right now under this within this object so in my next video i will be going to tell you how to add custom fields within this object so that's all in this video if you have any queries you can write to us on www.bsptrainings.com you can subscribe our youtube channel for more videos on salesforce keep watching have a nice day goodbye